Let's play Idle Pouring. Today's video, Rebirth Zero PvP. So in this video, I'll be showcasing four skill rotations with honor level all the way up to triple strafe. Uh, so if you don't have that honor level, again, it's, it's key and utmost important that you do pat your friends every day six times, as well as send an icy rose through the gift at least once a day. Now, PvP prior to four skill rotations rely heavily on luck and chance base to stun the enemy, which is why I won't cover that. Uh, but the four skill rotations play heavily on knowing your enemy's build, as well utilizing counterattack. Now, this first opponent goes Berserk Sleep Provoke Double. That allows me to basically utilize counterattack. And because there's no stuns, you just go damage. So Berserk, Double Strafe, Triple Strafe. Now, Counter Attack is good for two reasons. One, players usually do more damage to themselves than the damage that they deal. So overall, they're really just killing themselves faster. And two, because they're killing themselves faster, if you add the damage that you deal, you will burst them dead before you die. And, and again, in a fight, it's not trying to survive, it's killing your opponent first. So as you can see, even though she's dealing damage to me, she's killing herself a lot faster. And because of that, if I just dish out my damage on top of the damage she's doing to herself, she loses and I win. Now the second one... She's playing the fighting game all wrong. She's going for luck. And what I'm going to do is utilize that against her. So because my opponent's build isn't heavy on damage, I'm going to focus on two to three rotations to kill her. So I'm going to throw away my first two skills, meaning if she does stun me, that's fine. Uh, the second two skills are what's going to kill her. And then if it does go through the second rotation, the timing of her skills are going to be off, allowing my first two skills to activate. As I said before, you know, she's playing the survival game. Uh, but in PvP, the key is to kill your opponent as fast as you can. So if you can burst them dead, that's the goal. So in this case, uh, again, I threw away the sleep. Um, I wasn't going to care about the damage. Same thing with the berserk. I got stunned. And then this is when the actual battle starts so i got in my double strafe i got in my counter attack and although she cured it allowed me to use my first two skills again and like i mentioned you want to get stunned when you're auto attacking so in this case she died fairly simple because she was playing the pvp wrong now this third opponent is going to be about the same level as you and same power um he's going to go berserk sleep double stun so i'm gonna counter attack first again it's thrown in there for free berserk to try and get it off before his sleep double strafe and the last skill you can go stun or triple strafe i'm gonna try and rely a little on luck if i do get the triple strafe off he dies immediately now if he doesn't uh, the second rotation will still be in my favor because i have counter attack going so i'm not too worried now, if your opponent was more powerful than you or higher level than you, then yeah, go with the stun at the end so that you can reset the rotation and be guaranteed to win. Uh, but in this case, he should die in the second rotation after I double strafe him. And like I said, counterattack is your best friend. So there he slept me before I could berserk. And as you can see, counterattack is causing him to lose a lot faster, and I couldn't get the triple strafe off. So this will go into the second rotation, and from there I should be able to double strafe him dead. Now, this next one is the fourth one. So they're going to be stronger than you, which means they have more HP than you. So the only way to win is actually to deal more damage. Counterattack is still sufficient because again you still want to burst them dead so he's gonna sleep and stun at the end so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and throw away my first skill and hope that my next three skill connects 
Now the first skill I'm going to throw away is going to be sleep. Meaning if I sleep him, it's in my favor. If I don't sleep him, I, I still throw it away and utilize the next three skill. And then the second rotation, my sleep should connect first. Unless I connect first right away, then either way I would win. So again, I'm hoping to get stun him. And he resisted, so I basically threw away the skill like I mentioned. And counter attack and double strength will do the rest of the work. I should get stunned one more time. And then again, counter attack, double strafe should do the work again. So just, just knowing your opponent's damage that they're going to deal, uh, on top of how fast you can burst them, will kill the fourth one. Now, the last opponent uh, is going to be so much more HP, which means you're going to have to deal as much damage as, as possible. Uh, in this case, he only has one stun to worry about, so because he went Berserk first, I'll go Counter Attack, Berserk, Double, Triple. So again, I'm trying to maximize my damage with the last three skills and burst him dead with my Counter Attack. Now, because I put Berserk second, if he does stun me, it's going to stun my auto attack or I resist it altogether. So I resist it all together. So I'll be able to dish out all the damage and burst him dead because of the counter attack and my double triple. So that's how you beat the last guy. The, the fifth opponent, you're always going to want to use your maximum damage. My pets, I have Angeline, Steam for defense. Uh, Pirate, Skelly, and Andre are my damage pets, so it's good to have attack attributes. My overall attack attribute is a little under 14,000. And again, for PvP and PvE, you want the highest attack because if you kill them outright, that's how you win. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.